Well, fabulous friends, we are back today for an opening of some Magic the Gathering, the latest set, Streets of New Capenna. Now, you guys know how I like these uh, bundles and how I think that there's always been good value in them. Of course, the bundles have changed since, uh, well, actually, with uh, Kamigawa, they had a new format of bundle now for these. Uh, if you haven't seen them already, well, you will see them right now. I have uh, not yet opened some uh, Magic the Gathering. I've been uh, off on book tours and a whole bunch of other things have been uh, happening in our lives. So we are back with some Magic the Gathering, which we will have a couple of videos of in the next few weeks. And also, of course, Flesh and Blood for those of you who are waiting for that. All right, so what do we uh, typically find in here? So far, we've just found our, uh, our box where we uh, store our cards in. We have here some packs and... Don't forget, now we have set booster packs, and there are now just eight instead of the ten that we used to have when they were draft booster boxes. Of course, you have this uh, oversized uh, dice, so we'll put this, keep it apart, and uh, we're going to have a look at those cards. Actually, here we have uh, lands. We do have also a promo, a uh, bundle a card, a promo card that is... Uh, just for the bundle. So as you can see here, 462, the bundle um, foil card, obviously. And these are all the foil lands also. So you're getting a total of 20 here. So four in each, uh, for each uh, type of land. So 20 cards, all foils. And these are the repeats of the lands, this time non-foil. So I'm still opening these so you get a, a look at them, but we don't need to spend any time. So there you go for that. We will actually proceed and open these packs, see if we have anything good today. As you know, I always like these because the uh, normally we do have like one per seven pack or so we get a, uh, a mythic. And here I uh, think that we get one per four pack because I usually get two mythics in these. All right, so we do have the, uh, don't forget, this is the uh, set booster configuration. So we do get an artist series card. We get here a foil land in this case and then of course some just some uh, regular cards uncommon and co common and uncommon and we do have the uh, showcase cards here that are different this time broker's charm they do change with every uh, set obviously scheming fence a rare and what do we have join, join the maestrum here and okay we have yeah you'll have a foil every don't forget like the set booster configuration every four packs or so you do have a, a three that you actually get a foil and every uh three packs or so that you actually get a card from the list all right so that makes it worth it uh, what we like so let's get through these quickly and see if we have uh, some special cards here at the end we're getting the uh again the uh changes oh here we go with a Broker's Ascendancy and a double rare, so uh, Zayatora's Envoy. Okay, double rare pack. Well, that is typical, don't forget, of the uh, set boosters. You do get uh, more than one rare, sometimes up to, uh, I think you can get an up, up to a maximum of four. So that is uh, is quite good. Let me know what you guys are thinking. It's been, well, oh, look at that. We get a signed card here. This is just like one in uh, 20, I think. One in 20 artist cards will have the artist's signature. So that is kind of cool that we get that. Here we go with the, uh, oh, we get Body Launderer as our first a Mythic Rare. Skybridge Towers. Oh, we have a land here. Okay, so look at that. Pretty cool. That's a foil, actually. So let's uh, pull this out, and let's see if we can get our second one. But if we don't, I mean, it's one out of eight packs, right? So uh, one Mythic Rare is still okay. But like I said, that's why I think there's so much value in that. Most of the time, I do get two. And here we go. I do get two of those Mythic Rares. We'll see what happens here. And and uh, what do you guys think of this set? Have you liked it so far? How many of you have played the... Uh, have drafted in these? Well, actually, not with these packs, but with the draft boosters. Okay, so Structural Assault is our, our Rare and Maestro's Charm here. Foil. Look at a beautiful card. My goodness. I like these uh, treatments. It's uh, cool, really nice. And uh, halfway through here, we still have four packs to go. Yeah, and I have for you guys that have been watching Flesh and Blood on this channel mainly, I have a lot, a lot, and a ton of other things to show you in the next uh, weeks. We have, you know, I've received some packs and th from you know different games like D Spirits. Uh, 
We are having uh, some... Oh, there you go, Cross Defense Contractor. This is a Commander Mythic Rare card. So that's not to say that you're not going to get even some Commander cards in here. And Mythic Rare... Look at this! Mythic Rare back-to-back -back Eurobrask Heretic Predator. Wow! Look at this. What did I tell you? Are you gonna, guys going to go after bundles or what? My goodness. So... Like I said, this is the type of ratio that I like. I mean, rarely less than two. There's four. There's eight packs. That's one in four packs. If you do get a bundle once in a while that doesn't have that double uh, uh, Mythic Rare, well, you know, you're still not uh, losing because you're getting some beautiful, some great cards here. Sometimes double rares, like we said, more than two rares per pack. So here we go with Xander's Lounge, and we get Skybridge Towers as a land foil. And we have Elmar Rare. Look at that. This is a uh, card from the list. Uh, I don't believe um, I've seen these. They don't have the little uh, magic, uh, the gathering uh, logo in the corner down here, but they are still from the list for some reason. Uh, I don't know why that is, but um, I looked up when you, you know, in the, uh, in the listings of the cards, and they do appear in the list, and for some reason they don't have that logo. Don't know why. Going to have to check into that. If any of you know the reason, well, let us know. So here we go with the... Uh, Latest cards here. Are we going to get anything big? We get our rare Park Heights Pegasus and Glamorous Outlaw. This is the foil. So here we go with uh, uh, New Cabana. Okay. So one more pack left. Let's hope that this is a super, uh, super box. It would be if we did get one more Mythic Rare. So here we go with uh, our artist card and our regular cards. And yeah, so I was just saying that we have a lot to come with respect to in the next few weeks with respect to other games. I've received a ton of stuff since I've made videos for you guys, and uh, you will see. Hostile Takeover, okay, and the Pyre Sledge Arsonist is, uh, is that a foil? Yeah, that is our foil. So there you go. Let's have a little bit of a review here. We did get three Mythic Rares, one of which is a, uh, a card from uh, as a Commander, actually, and uh, our two here from the set. As you can see, uh, card 129 and one and 068. So I hope you guys uh, have enjoyed this. And uh, we'll be back soon for uh, more Magic Gathering and Flesh and Blood, obviously, and other kinds of games. So anyway, until our next video, you guys stay safe out there. And we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.